Hey, thank you for watching the Ranger Rob channel. Oh, let's get started. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob, and today I'm talking about gardening in Central Oregon. Now, I uh, just bought a five acre place. Uh, I'm actually in what's called the green room, and this was actually used for flowers, but we're going to change it for next year to be for tomatoes and a lot of plants I need to get started earlier because we have a shorter season. We're in zone six. So one of the things I was going to recommend to people is um, on the urban farmer um, on the internet, you can go to the, find out what region that you live in to find out how your growing season will turn out. Uh, what I do like about, I got to look down for a minute, is uh, you can actually get a growing chart. When to start your seeds, when to plant, what time of year or what time of month, and uh, what will work best in your region. So I highly recommend, if you're going to get into gardening, find out what zone you're in, and then learn and find out what grows good in your area, and learn when to plant them, and sometimes you can plant twice. So uh, those charts will tell you. This room, uh, we'll be modifying it quite a bit. Unfortunately, we've had to use it for storage a little bit, but we're actually going to start all of our plants in here next year. Um, and uh, then I'm going to go to a high tower uh, system or uh, outside to protect especially my, uh, uh, my tomatoes. So uh, let me go. Uh, this year I did throw some seeds in the ground. Uh, it's almost the 1st of July, and so I'm running real late, pushing my luck, but we'll see what happens. Let me show you what we did. All right, guys, we're outside, and this year I'm going to be the Central Oregon Desperate Gardener, and reason being is I've had to make do of what I have. So this house has been designed for a lot of flowers and stuff, so I thought it'd be kind of cool. Out front here, they got these vines growing. It's really cool stuff, but I was like, why don't I put some tomatoes here? Because we get lots of sun normally in the mornings to mid-afternoon here. So I actually started a tomato plant here, and it's actually doing really well. And plus I had to get the watering system to work. And then on the other side here is another vine up here. And I put another tomato plant right there. And uh, they're actually doing pretty good. Whether I get some tomatoes this year, like I said, I'm running late. So, uh, this property's got lots of watering systems, and so that's not really a problem. And by the way, it is a little breezy, so I'm sorry if you hear some wind. But I wanted to show you what Sherry and I did do. We kind of looked in our Zone 6 chart and found out there's a few things we might be able to grow this late. So we uh, got starters, and in here in the gardens, we call this the jungle, we actually redid this whole section right here, right under some aspens. And uh, so there's a watering system in here. So off to the side here, we put some zucchini. These new plants right here in the middle, we put sugar snap peas. This one plant over here is a little taller, cucumber. So. I don't know if we're going to get anything, but we should. Um, it'll be probably late. Uh, I'll do update videos. I'm hoping August we might see something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I've got a beautiful garden. I got beautiful flowers everywhere. But it's not the kind of things I want to grow. I mean, I, I, once again, sorry about the wind. Uh, wow, it's really windy out. What I want to show you is there's no lack of property here, but it's all grass and flower beds. So I don't want to change the flower beds, but I do want to build a very large garden next early spring or late late winter. And so I'm going to show you, as you can see, this is all grassy in a driveway. And back here is raw land. And uh, so we're going to, and by the way, there is an irrigation system already in here. 
I'm not even sure what I'm going to use it for. I am going to tap into it for water, <coughs> but this whole region right here is going to be, uh, I'll take the tractor, we're going to turn it into garden, then we're going to, uh, sorry about the wind, uh, um, modify the dirt, add uh, uh, manure and different kind of nutrients to the dirt because we have a real kind of a sandy dirt and uh, uh, it definitely needs additives to it. And uh, we'll create some high tower too over for tomatoes. And so we got a lot of work to do, but I can't do it till next year because it's just a little too late. So, but uh, I can actually start working on it and start building it and cut the ground and clear it. Um, but planting won't happen till spring. So kind of sad. But anyway, but I'm fortunate to have such a place to do such a thing. So there's my update for gardening in Central Oregon. Um, as you, you know, I just came from Arizona. I was just mastering Arizona and uh, then we moved. So anyway, that's our projects. I'll do update videos showing you how the zucchini, the peas and the uh, uh, cucumbers are doing. And also if I actually get any tomatoes. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.